Ezekiel chapter 21 is, well, it's one of those chapters that's full of wrath and consequences and God reprimanding the people of Israel. L listen to what it says. I'll, I'll start in verse 1 of Ezekiel chapter 21. And the word of the Lord came to me. This is Ezekiel. Son of man, set your face toward Jerusalem. Preach against the holy place and prophesy against the land of Israel. And say to the land of Israel, thus says the Lord, behold, I'm against you and I will draw my sword out of the sheath and cut off both righteous and wicked from you. So God's pulling out the sword. He's dealing with Israel again. And Ezekiel is having to prophesy against Jerusalem and against the people. It's, it's an amazing story. All, all through the chapter, God is pouring out wrath. And he does so not because he's a God who's not loving, not because he's a God who doesn't care, but just the opposite, because he does care. And because God cares, he brings consequences and boundaries into the life of Israel. They go off into idolatry, they, they get involved with mediums and soothsayers and all this stuff that eventually brings death. So God says, I've got to deal with you. It's kind of like a parent who has to set boundaries for his kids, who has to show them that if you do certain things, you'll be hurt by it. So God is, is dealing with them. Sigh therefore, son of man, with a breaking heart, and sigh with bitterness before their eyes. And it shall be when they say to you, why are you sighing that you shall answer? Because of the news when it comes to every heart will melt, all hands will be feeble, every spirit will faint and all knees will be weak as water. Behold, it is coming and shall be brought to pass, says the Lord God. In other words, God doesn't just say, hey, I'm just gonna deal with you. No, he says, you're gonna sigh, you're gonna weep, you're gonna be weak at the knees. Uh, because God cares and God wants to deal with them in a way that's, well, it's, it's harsh, but it's also loving. It, it, it's once again like a parent trying to set boundaries for a child that if he knows if they go outside of them, they'll be hurt, they'll be damaged. And so God says, hey, there's consequences to sin. In fact, all the way back to the very first book in the Bible, God has said it. There's consequences for rebellion and for sin. Adam, Eve, if you eat of that, the day you do, you shall die. And, and they died spiritually. They were pushed out of the garden. They hid themselves. There was pain. There was separation. There was hiding. And God still deals with his people that way. He's loving. He's kind. But know this, as you, I, walk through life, as we walk with the Lord, there are consequences to turning our backs on the Lord. And this is what he's saying to Ezekiel. Hey, I got to pull the sword. I got to deal with the evil in the life of Israel. And he does it in all kinds of ways, in all kinds of situations, with not only Israel, but all nations and all individuals. God is a God not only of love, but there's always consequences for disobedience and sin. And you certainly see that in Ezekiel chapter 21.